Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to copy data from HTTP endpoint by using Azure Data Factory. So uh, that's a very easy actually, and uh, you will be able to. You can e even use a REST, uh, you know, uh, connector, or you you can use the HTTP. So in this case, uh, you will be able to select different type of data. Now let's go ahead and take a look uh, here. Uh, what I have, uh, I have this uh, website that's uh, providing free. Uh, data and uh, I can uh, click here and uh, you can see the data is there. This is JSON type of data that I need to extract. Uh, but uh, you could have a different type of data you can extract, you know, depending upon your scenarios. Okay, so now what we are going to do here, uh, that's the URL and I'm going to copy this URL. And uh, from this uh, data, if you notice there, I do not need to select uh, such as uh, this part. I need to only select uh, these guys, uh, you know, the data itself. Uh, okay whatever is, is inside this data and I do not need to uh, select this part as well okay so I'm gonna read this data this is JSON data and then I'm gonna write to the CSV file so we'll create a CSV file on the blob storage now let's go ahead and uh, create our new pipeline in the pipeline we will be using a copy activity let's uh, bring the copy activity and in the copy activity what we are gonna do we are gonna go to source and create a new data set and here I will select uh, HTTP Okay, click uh, next. Now you have different type of formats available. In my case, it is going to be JSON. So click right there. And now we create a linked service. We are gonna hit the new. And here we will provide a base URL. Now server certificate validate validation is that true? So it depends, you know, so you're gonna leave that on. Here you have a different type of authentications available. And in my case, it's going to be anonymous because I do not have username and password. But in your case, it will be probably you with the basic and you will have username and password. You can have different other authentication types available as well. Okay, so we don't have that. So we are gonna select and then we can test the connection and the test is successful and hit to create. Now what we are gonna do here, we do not have any relative URL. So let's say if you are here and then you, after that you wanna provide something, uh, let's uh, say consider this one, backslash two. Okay, so something like that. So this is a path you can provide it later. But in my case, I'm interested to get everything from employees. Okay, so let's uh, go back here. See too many requests. If I try to access multiple times is to throw me error. So now I'm fine, I'm gonna go back uh, and uh, here uh, what I would like to do, I'm gonna go to Azure Data Factory, hit okay. And uh, now I'm going to, if I wanna preview the data, I can and uh, it is okay. I hope it will not throw me error. Too many requests, <laughs> so see right there, status, data and everything is coming correct. So this is a JSON data. Now let's uh, hit uh, cancel there and uh, we are doing a request method get. You have a different type of uh, request to get, uh, get and post. You can do that. Uh, you can provide additional headers here. You can provide a request body. You can provide tons of information here depending upon the scenario. And you can also add uh, different columns here. So in my case, uh, it's very simple. I'm not gonna do anything. Let's uh, click uh, on sync and uh, we are gonna go to the blob storage and here, uh, we'll be creating a CSV file. Click right there, create a new linked service, and here we will be select our subscription, and then we are gonna go to the storage account, Tech Brothers Storage, create, and our name is Azure Blob Storage 7. Now here, yes, first row will have header, and which container you would like to write, I'm gonna go to the output container, and right there, and then let's hit okay, and uh, what we will do here, click open and provide the name. In this case, I'm going to say HTTP employees, okay? So that's our .csv. That's the name of the file. You can have uh, different selections here. You want comma, delimited, uh, pipe, delimited, whatever you can have it. In my case, comma is just fine. And uh, double quotes around the uh, characters, yes, okay. And the rest of everything is I'm leaving default, no big deal. Go to pipeline again, and here we are gonna go to mapping now. Once we go to mapping, we are gonna click on uh, import schemas, and it's gonna bring all the schema from JSON, and we can select what we need and what we don't. Remember that I don't need the status here, so I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna go all the way and, and remove the message as well. So these are the items I need. I'm gonna click right there, so collection reference. It means I need everything what comes under the data, okay? So that is fine. 
and uh, we need that that's an array and then these are all those columns available okay so you can select the data types if you like in my case i'm fine without uh, selecting because it's going to be csv file anyways now we are going to go ahead and execute this uh, pipeline and it should read the data from that uh, our http endpoint and write the data to the csv file on the blob storage it's almost there okay it failed let's take a look and it says there are too many requests because i've been using this for multiple times for my demos and this is not paid http endpoint so i'm going to give it a try one more time and it should pass hopefully i really want to debug this one because at least i can show you the csv file is created successfully so i hope this time it will go otherwise i'm going to try multiple times and until this gets successful uh, that's where we're going to stop. Finally, I executed one more time it and it got completed. Uh, so there is not a whole lot of information. This is just the source and destination and all that uh, columns coming through. Now what you have here, uh, it read one JSON and then uh, written 24 rows. Uh, that's important. Uh, so we want to just uh, cancel this out, go back to the Azure Data Factory, sorry, blob storage and go to the container so in our container is the output container and then we have this uh, http employees.csv click right there and edit and you can see the data is there so you can uh, see right there this is first our header column and then we have a 24 rows right there all right so this is how you will be using the http connector inside the copy activity in azure data factory to read the data from the http endpoints and write to the azure blob storage so thank you very much for watching and please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next videos